Welcome back to Technical Solution YouTube channel. So today we are having the news regarding Intel. Intel Archimedes GPU has got a driver patch with the support for fifth display support, and we officially know from the render that it doesn't have a display port. Port is it have only has four display ports. So it's crazy that it had a fifth display support for NTCST, but it has been stated by video cards that the fifth display will be supported through USB Type C hub. So you can technically connect five displays to these GPUs and it is the first time Intel is coming into GPU market and then you are doing a pretty good job at that by giving support to the NTCSD lines of GPUs for persons to who use more than four monitors it's not for gamers too moving on AMD has recently unveiled its 6000 and 6000 S series of GPUs and CPUs and we have a note and it is made for the slim and slim notebooks and we first have we have the benchmark for it basically the benchmark is for Ryzen 9 6900s and RX 6900HS HS GPU yeah. and it is based on Gen 3 plus with up to 8 volts and yeah this GPU is a true monster as it can easily beat out RTX 3080 mobile GPU and 12 gen Intel in uh, in Photoshop, yeah, in Photoshop it it beat each and every one, so it is some sixty eight hundred X. It's a low power variant and it just beat everything and it is from ROG Zephyrus G14 and it scored a whopping one hundred and five points GPU score. And do note that it uses not just integrated but external GPU also, and it can single handedly beat the overall score of 3080 gpu which is a big because in slim and trim in slim notebooks is difficult to pull down but this chip is able to deliver performance and also creating low power draw power draw and scoring a pretty high gpu score at s 115 and 3080 gpu can score up to with 12 and intel it scores up to 90.5 score in gpu score so goes to AMD and also AMD has for the first time surplus printed in the market cap and market caps they are basically changing like the stock market comes down and goes up but it has got its 428 million new AMD sh shares has been added and the process is ongoing and it can give up to 197.75 billion which is 15 million more compared to Intel so AMD has just surpassed Intel in strong in market yet. And that's it for today. What do you think about the news? Sound of your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe. Peace out.